Let us understand how to manage partitions for a partition table using the table which is created as part of the previous topic. The table name is nothing but users underscore part. When it comes to data in this table, with user role u should go to one partition and with user role a should go to another partition and the partition names are specified here. For u it should be users underscore part underscore u, for a it should be users underscore part underscore a. u stands for user and a stands for admin. We can add partition to existing partition table using create table partition name and then partition of the main table. So in this case users underscore part will go here. The actual partition name such as users underscore part underscore u or a will go here. So we have to run two separate commands like this to add partitions to existing table. We can have a partition for default value so that all the data that does not satisfy the partition condition can be added to it. We can have a partition for each value or for a set of values. In this case, you can have two partition strategy where one partition will have both values related to u as well as a and another partition for all other values or you can have individual partitions for u and a. So two partitions, one for u and one for a and then default partition for rest of the values. So either you can create a table with three partitions or two partitions or whatever number you want to use depending upon the distinct values that are eligible for the user underscore role column. Once partitions are added, we can insert data into the partition table. We can either use the main table or the table that is created for each of the partition to insert the data. We can detach using alter table command and drop the partition or we can drop the partition directly without detaching. To drop the partition, we need to use drop table command. Here is how we can create partition for default values for a list partition table. We need to first load the SQL magic and then we have to define an environment variable called as database underscore URL and this is how the default partition can be created. You need to have at least one partition to actually insert the data into it. For now I just created one partition with users underscore part underscore default name. Now we can actually insert the records even though the user role contain u for all the three records all the three records will go to the default partition because we haven't specified the partition for user role u yet. Let's run this. You can also validate by running select query. Let me copy and paste it here and you should be able to see the results. You can see the data in the table inserted without any issues. You can also run against the partition name like this and you should be able to see the data. So either you can query from the table or from the partition. The best practice is always to use the table name rather than the partition name. Now I am adding another partition for values a. This is how the syntax will look like when we try to create non-default partition. And this is how the syntax look like for creating a default partition. You just have to say create table table name partition of actual table name then default. All the default values will go here. When it comes to value specific partition it has to be created like this create table the partition table name partition of the main table name for values in you have to use circle brackets like this and you can pass comma separated values to actually insert records related to multiple user roles. Uh, for now I am just creating one partition for A alone. Now you can actually update one of the record uh, user role to A and the data will go to the uh, partition related to A. Let me run this. You can actually run this query, still it have three records, but for one record user role is A. Now you can run the query against the partition table like this, self star from user underscore part underscore A. You should see one record and this will return two records. So in this case, one of the records is actually moved from default partition to the other uh, partition which is nothing but user underscore part underscore A. If you try to create a table for partition, for values u it will fail because our default partition already have two records with u as there is a conflict it will fail. You can run this and you can actually see the error. The error says updated partition constraint for default partition users underscore part underscore default would be violated by some row. This is the error and to fix this it is a bit tricky. You have to first detach the partition, add partition for u and load the data from detached partition into the new partition created. So this is how it will look like. You can alter the table. In this case, we are detaching the partition users underscore part underscore default from users underscore part. Then I am creating a new partition which is nothing but users underscore part underscore u for users underscore part for values in u. Now I can actually insert the data into users underscore part from the users underscore part underscore default. Once the partition is detached, it is 
an isolated table and you should be able to query from that isolated table and we can use those results to insert into the main table. So in this case the main table is the user sum score part. From user sum score part and score default we have inserted data into that main table. Now we should be able to run these queries one against A and another against U. You can see there is one record under user sum score part and score A partition and two records under user sum score part and score U. Now, as the data from default partition related to U are migrated to A and U, so as of now, all the data is in either A partition or U partition. Now, either we can attach the default partition after truncating the data in the default partition, or we can drop and create the default partition again on the main table. So, in this case, I am just dropping the default partition and adding it to the main table. If you want, you can truncate and you can attach to the main table. This is how you should be able to manage the partitions for a list partitioned table.